Jeff Espinoza. Cass LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Johnny Castro. And Austin Como. Today, we are doing the YMC bike test. Talking about the equipment we're going to use with the YMCA bike test. Johnny will first be modeling the stethoscope. Coming in the single or the double feature, the stethoscope is used to listen to heartbeat and lung sounds. But for the purpose of this test, we'll be using the stethoscope to listen for blood pressure. The next piece of equipment we'll be using is the metronome set at 50 beats per minute. This will help the participant keep pace with the test, and Johnny is modeling it with his phone. Another key component of the test is the heart rate monitor, which is used to assess the participant's heart rate, which Johnny will be modeling. Place right at the sternum, strapped around. Good to go. Next thing we'll be needing is a clock to keep time during the test. The clock is used in the stages to so know how long the participant is to stay at each stage. Next, Johnny will be bringing out the blood pressure cup. We would prefer the rolling blood pressure cup because it's a little bit more stationary and easier to use in our test. However, you can also use one that is handheld. final piece of equipment Johnny will be modeling for us is the Monarch bike itself. We'll use a Monarch bike because you can set resistance to it for the different stages. According to the ACSM guidelines for the YMCA cycle ergometer test, work rate is performed for at least three minutes and heart rate is recorded during the final 15 and 30 seconds of the second and third minutes. This determines the workload for each stage. Blood pressure is measured at the last one to two minutes of each stage. The test can end if subject reaches 85% of the age predicted heart rate max or the 110 beats per minute for two consecutive stages. The first stage, uh, the resistance is gonna be set to 150 kilo, uh, kgm per minute. Based off your heart rate and blood pressure after that stage, that determines um, which category you would be placed in next. So if your heart rate is in between 80 to 89 uh, beats per minute uh, for the second stage, the resistance is going to be set at 600 kgm per minute. Um, you're going to do this for at least two consecutive stages, again, to reach the 85% uh, percent of the age predicted heart rate max. Uh, and 110 uh, beats per minute. Um, through these guidelines, that then allows you to proceed to the third stage um, and the fourth stage based off your heart rate. Usually for uh, healthy individuals or individuals with more of an active lifestyle, uh, their heart rate falls between less than 80, while as heart rate is above 100, this usually shows that the subjects usually live a sedentary lifestyle. You're setting up the bike for the YMCA ergometer. You want to make sure that the seat is at the participant's hip level. Participant.
Tristan is sitting on the bike. You want the handlebars in a comfortable position to where his elbows are slightly flexed. The knees should be slightly flexed and the shoulders should be straight and not rounded. You adjust the resistance on the Monarch bike by twisting this, which will be used in the stages, starting off at 0.5 kilopons. That's how you set up the bike for the YMCA. Before beginning the test, it's very important to get the participants resting blood pressure and resting heart rate. The cuff size we're going to use to measure his blood pressure is the large adult. No, the regular adult. There's the child size, the regular adult, the large adult, and then the thigh blood pressure cuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the cuff, find the artery, where it says artery, right there, match it up with his brachial artery. We'll take it around, make sure that line matches up with his brachial artery. Now what we're going to do, we're going to need a stethoscope. Take the stethoscope, make sure the earpieces are facing you, put them in. You can hear that, you can't hear anything else, you're solid. Now you're going to go like this, two fingers, put it in like that, put it inside his anti-cubital space, pump this baby up, ah, there it is. Pop it, uh, you're gonna pump it up until 160, 180 of the participants' blood pressure, so 160, 180. Slowly release the nozzle. The first pop you hear is his systolic blood pressure, and then the last pop you'll hear will be his diastolic blood pressure. Got 112 over 82, pretty solid blood pressure. Now you can take that off. And now the next thing to do is to find heart rate. You can also, uh, for heart rate, you're gonna use your two fingers and place them on his radial artery. Find that pulse. Once you get that pulse going, count for 15 seconds. Every beat you feel, starting out. All right, I got 14. Take that number, times it by four, and then that'll get you your heart rate. And then you're done. To begin the test, participants should start with a light warm-up. The YMCA submaximal test is a multi-stage test that uses two to four consecutive three-minute workloads with the goal to achieve a heart rate between 110 beats per minute and 85% of the participants age predicted maximum heart rate for at least two consecutive stages. Heart rate will be taken every minute during the test, while blood pressure will be taken every two to three minutes. We'll start with the initial workload of 150 kgms and a pedal rate of 50 rotations per minute. Heart rate from the initial workload determines the second stage workload and if heart rate during the last two minutes of the stage are not within five beats per minute, then add one minute to the stage. First swap participant warm up for two to three minutes. All right, to the finishing stage. After warmed up, we're going to start to get the initial stage. We're going to set the bike to 150 kg, uh, kgms per minute. And have the participant pedal for three minutes. And then in between the two and three minutes of the stage, each stage, we're going to take blood pressure. And the 15 to 30 seconds at the end of each stage, 
we're going to take heart rate. Near the final minute of the first stage, Jeff is taking Austin's blood pressure. Once he finishes taking the blood pressure, I'll proceed to take Austin's heart rate to determine the workload for the next stage. 119 over 79. With a heart rate of 86, we're going to bump up the resistance to 750 kgm per minute for the next stage. As we near the end of the second stage, Jeff will again take Austin's blood pressure. After he gets a blood pressure thirty over seventy six, I will again get the heart rate to determine the workload for the next stage. With a heart rate of one hundred and sixteen beats per minute, for the third stage we will be using four hundred fifty kgm per minute. And this is the first stage Austin has reached where we can end the test if the next stage is within 110 beats per minute and 85% of his age predicted maximum heart rate. As we begin to near the end of the third stage, Jeff will again take Austin's blood pressure. With a heart rate of 124 beats per minute, we can now end the test and back off the resistance because Austin's heart rate is greater than 110 beats per minute and within 85% of his age predicted heart rate max. We will now begin the cooldown phase for two to three minutes. Now that we finished the YMCA cycle test, here are the results. Heart rate of 196, just draw a line going across the graph. Um, I measured out my two steady state heart rates of the last two consecutive stages. Uh, draw a line where it connects uh, to the age predicted heart rate. Then draw a line straight down and that measures the uh, 4.6 maximum oxygen uptake.